Now this question says find the value of x where it is given that log of log of 2 plus log x to the x plus 1 to the base 2 equal to 0. Now how do we do that? First of all, whenever base is not given, we take base as 10. So here base as 10, here base as 10. Right? Here the base is already given as 2. Let, let me write the question again. Log of to the base 10 log 2 plus log x plus 1 to the base 2 and this whole thing to the base 10 and there is a bracket equal to 0. Now let me remove the first log first. We have already done the rule wherein we say that log of uh, uh, n to the base b if it is equal to x this means n is equal to b to the power x. Right? So applying this if I remove the first log this is the base and this is the value of x here. So it becomes this 10 goes to the other side it becomes 10 raised to the power 0 and this side we will have log of uh, to the base 10 2 plus log of x plus 1 to the base 2. Right? Now 10 is to 0 is 1. Now if I have to remove the second log now what will happen? This 10 will go to the other side and this 1 will become power. So it is 10 raised to the power 1. And this side it will be 2 plus log of x plus 1 to the power to the base 2. Now 10 is to 1 is 10. Now this 2 goes to the other side and we get log of x plus 1 to the base 2 is equal to 10 minus 2 that is 8. Right? Now from here if you see, if you remove this third log, what will happen? Now the base is 2. So this x plus 1 will become 2 raised to the power 8, that is 256. So finally from here, you can see that x is equal to 256 minus 1, that is 255. Right? So the answer of this question, the value of x is 255. So this was a good tricky question. Okay? Now let's go to the next one. Now let's take a look at this question. It says find x, right? And the equation given is 2x into 2x into b raised to the power 4 log x to the base b. That is equal to 486, right? So we have to find the value of x. Now for this question, we need to apply a rule. We have learnt it earlier. I'll write the rule here again. a to the power log b to the base c. Look at this carefully. It can be written as directly equal to b to the power log a to the base c. So what is happening? This a and this b can interchange their positions. Right? This a and this b can interchange their positions. So in this case, look at the second part of this. Right? So I write the equation again. This means this 2x remains as it is into First, I let me put it this way. This 4 goes inside. So it becomes b to, in, to the power log x raised to 4 to the base b. Right? And this whole thing is equal to 486. Now look at this. According to this formula, this b and this x raised to 4 whole thing can be interchanged. So this becomes 2x into x raised to 4 whole to the power log b to the base b that is equal to 486. So the benefit here is log b to the base b becomes 1. So we have 2x into x raised to 4 equal to 486. Now 2 cancels 486, 243 times. This we could have done earlier also. Now x into x raised to 4 becomes x raised to the power 5 that is equal to 243. Now, if you factorize 2, 4, 3, I think you might remember that it is 3 raised to 1 is 3, 3 square is 9, 3 cube is 27, 3 raised to 4 is 81, and 3 raised to 5 is 2, 4, 3. So, 2, 4, 3 is equal to 3 raised to the power 5. So, this tells us very clearly that x is equal to 3, right? So, the answer of this question is x equal to 3. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Now this question says log 5 to the base 8 is given b. Find log 4 to the base 10 in terms of b. Now this is one of the best questions. Right. How? Let's see. In this what we have to do is we have to break log 4 to the base 10 and somehow we have to bring as, as in the form of log 5 to the base 10. Log 5 to the base 8. How do we do that? Let's see. Uh, first of all, let me do one more thing. This log 5 to the base 8 which is equal to b can also be taken as log 5 to the base 8 can be taken as 2 cube. 
is equal to b so this power 3 comes outside and it look like 1 by 3 so the power from a base comes out in in the denominator so log of 5 to the base 2 is equal to b so basically what we get here is log 5 to the base 2 is equal to 3b right let's keep this now let's go to log 4 to the base 10 how do we simplify it log 4 to the base 10 first of all it can be written as log of 2 square to the base 10 so this power 2 comes out right so it will come out to be 2 log 2 to the base 10 right now let's send it in the denominator this will become 2 divide by so log 2 to the base 10 when it goes in denominator it becomes log 10 to the base 2 right be a little careful here log 10 to the base 2 now 10 can be written as 5 into 2 so it is 2 divided by log to the base 2 and 10 can be written as 5 into 2 so this becomes 2 divided by log of now when the numbers are being multiplied logs will be added so log 5 to the base 2 plus log 2 to the base 2 right so here we get our answer because we have 2 in the numerator divided by log 5 to the base 2 we have already calculated as 3b all right and log 2 to the base 2 is 1 so the answer of this question is 2 divided by 3b plus 1 so this was a good tricky question we have applied all the formula of log in this case all right let's take one more question now in this question it says find x and there is an expression given log of 11 minus 6x to the base 2 is equal to 2 times log of x minus 1 to the base 2 plus 3 right so now what we should do is send this 2 inside the uh, log so this becomes let's look at this closely log of 11 minus 6x to the base 2 equal to log of x minus 1 whole square when this 2 goes inside it becomes power to the base 2 plus 3 now let's bring this whole thing to the uh, left hand side so it becomes log of 11 minus 6x to the base 2 minus log of x minus 1 whole square to the base 2 that is equal to 3. Now on the left hand side if you see there are two logs with the same base and with a minus sign in between. So what will happen? We can say it is log of to the base 2 11 minus 6x divided by x minus 1 whole square. Right? And this whole thing is equal to 3. This means if I remove this log, what will happen? 11 minus 6x upon x minus 1 whole square will become 2 to the power 3 and that is equal to 8. Right? So now we have to solve this equation and find the answer. Right? I'll write the equation here again. It is 11 minus 6x upon x minus 1 whole square equal to 8. Right? Now simplify this. So from here we see that 11 minus 6x divided by x minus whole square, 1 whole square is x square minus 2x plus 1 that is equal to 8. Cross multiply it will give us 11 minus 6x equal to 8 into x square minus 2x plus 1. Open it it will be 11 minus 6x is equal to 8x square minus 16x plus 8. Let's bring all of them on the other side. So 0 is equal to 8x square minus 16x plus 8 minus 11 plus 6x. So finally we have 8x square minus 16x plus 6x that is minus 10x and plus 8 minus 11 that is minus 3 that is equal to 0. Right? So it is 8x square minus 10x minus 3. Now 8 into 3 is 24 and 4 into 6 is 10 but here is a minus sign. So 12 into 2 is 10. Correct. So this can be taken as 8x square minus 12x plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So this gives us, if I take 4x common, this gives us 2x minus 3 plus 1 common 2x minus 3. So finally we have 2x minus 3 common from everything into 4x plus 1 that is equal to 0. So this tells us that from this one x is equal to 3 by 2 and from the other one x is equal to minus 1 by 4. Right now, let's just see whether it can be whether x can be uh, uh, negative or not. If you look at the expressions, x cannot be negative, right? Why? Because it is x minus 1 originally in the log. So, if x is negative, x minus 1 will, will become further negative, and a log cannot have a negative number, right? So, this means we can discard x equal to minus 1 by 4. Okay, so this is not the appropriate answer. 
So the correct answer is x equal to 3 by 2, right? So this is the answer of this question. Okay, now let's go to the next part. 